Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're adding a little bit of convenience storage to our center console. Now if you guys saw last week's video we went over a few different ways to let down your tire pressures um, and I always wanted a very convenient spot to store my tire pressure gauge. Kind of just floats around either in the center console um, underneath everything in the back um, and it just keeps getting lost and I really want somewhere that is very convenient to the location of the driver um, or passenger Passengers never let down my tire pressure, it's always me. I just want to say somewhere it's out of the way, it's very, but it's very convenient for me when I want to let down my tire pressures when I'm going up to the beach. Um, so I was having a look around my center console where it normally sits, um, and I was like, oh, it's no, not ready anywhere to store it. Um, now, before we get started, let me know in the comments below how your center consoles are set up. A lot of people's are different. I've seen some really awesome ones set up um, with like their. Uh, switches for their lights, their lockers and stuff like that, which is awesome. And also let me know where you guys are keeping your tire pressure gauges as well. It could be something completely different that I don't know, but or someone else doesn't know about it. It could be really convenient. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, my Jeep 2010, so the 2010 to uh, 2007, sorry, the 2012, um, should be the same. Um, but the newer ones, I'm not 100% sure if it has this little inlet part or not. And what I'm talking about about is if you open up your center console um, normally people just stuff all your crap in there um, and we've got a little divider somewhere I don't know where it's gone we've got a little divider that kind of sits in there as well um, to kind of keep everything nice and tidy but I was looking in here to try and find somewhere to store my tire pressure gauge uh, which is just like an odd size and it kind of just doesn't fit nicely anywhere um, so as I open it up you can see this little inlet just here which is almost the perfect size for the tire gauge which is like that so I think some companies actually do make like a little um, bag or something that can actually sit in there but there was like I think it was 85 bucks from like Rugged Ridge and I was like mm -hmm, nah, nah come on guys we're not paying 85 bucks for like a little bag um, just to store my tire gauge in. Already comes with the bag um, and it can fit in there as well. So I might look at that. I'm um, actually keeping it inside the bag um, and attaching it uh, in there as well so that it can just like pop um, in and out when I need be. But at the moment, um, it's really simple guys. You can, it's just kind of like an idea of where you guys can store extra stuff if you want. You don't have to store your gauge um, there or have it kind of set up like I do. This is my preference. Uh, what I would probably do is actually use a if you are going to do this, use a thicker bit of uh, Velcro. Um, I probably will change it up. Um, I kind of just install that to see if that will fit in perfect and how it's actually going to work. I thought this is actually such a good idea uh, where you can actually store your gauge or anything. It might be your deflators, could be whatever it might be. But it's actually a perfect little storage location for a lot of things. Um, actually, it's quite deep and it's actually quite wide. Um, and when you close it, it doesn't take up any extra room. Things down here aren't going to hit it as well. So what I've done is I've just got a bit of Velcro um, and just like a baby screw. Um, it's not very a thing, it's quite small, about that big. Um, and I've actually just tried, just drilled it straight into the plastic. As you can see, that plastic's quite thick. It's not going to come all the way through. Um, you can run multiple ones of these as you want. One up the top, I probably will do that. One in there, one there, just to secure it a bit more. Or secure the bag. Um, but all I've done is uh, screw it in there with a bit of Velcro um, and then... What I'll do is that, um, I'll lay the camera down somehow, um, and that just Velcro's in there nice and tight. So let's chuck the camera down. Alright, so, um, it's pretty simple to get in and out. Um, all it is is a bit of Velcro. Unhook that. What I might do is actually just attach the bag to it, um, so the bag's fully attached. What I tried to do at the start was actually attach like a Velcro strip to the back side of the gauge um, and that, but the texture of the actual center console was a bit weird. It wasn't actually sticking to it, uh, which is a bit annoying because I thought that was going to be like the, the easiest way, just Velcro in and off. Um, but that seems to work all right. And it's a perfect little size. Doesn't take up much room. Shut it, open, and it's a perfect little spot, little inlet, um, you can probably store other stuff down here, um, make little 
attachments in there if you wish. Or you could actually, some of those um, fasteners we had in the back of the Jeep, they didn't really work out that I was throwing my tools in. So you probably actually um, secure some of those, the inside of that, as like a pop in pop out method. You probably actually do that. They wouldn't actually be too bad. So something like that, you could use this for anything, guys. But it's a handy little bit of storage um, uh, for your center console, for your tire gauge, whatever it might be. Um, it's out of the way. It's very convenient. Um, and it looks pretty cool as well. Um, you could actually, man, you could run anything from there. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments where you guys are storing your gauge, what you're doing with your center consoles. If you're doing the same thing, if you even knew about this, um, hopefully you guys didn't know about this and I've just like, blown your mind of like this little um, storage part that nobody knew about or if you guys did know it but like wondered like what you could use it for anything like that um, but let me know what you guys are doing with your setups down in the comments below if you haven't already smash the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already they really help us out um, comment below anything if you want as well but that's pretty much it for today guys really handy little storage tip um, as I said all it is is a bit of velcro I probably will use something a bit thicker or I might use those little attachments I had in the back um, as well. But you could pretty much use anything. The sky's the limit, guys. Um, but that's how I've done it. A little bit of Velcro, a small screw, just attach. Um, really easy, really simple. All you got to do is un-Velcro, and get your tire gauge all set up, and it's out of the way. It's out of the way, but in a very convenient location for when you need it. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you've liked this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.